Hey guys, I'm Xtrevi. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Fish Trap for Roblox. But before we begin, a quick side note regarding the shaders thing. I made this dev forum post and I highly recommend reading it. The link will be in the description and there might be a response on this post. Um, that will give you guys clarification within the next week or two, hopefully. I can't guarantee that. But I was working on a project called VK Pipe that would bring support for shaders to both AMD and NVIDIA. And unfortunately, the security changes Roblox made before the event have made this project no longer possible. I was nearing the end of development, um, but now it's not necessarily possible to continue working on unless they are more relaxed with the code signing restrictions or they make changes to it while still being able to uphold their client security. It's unfortunate, but that's just what is kind of happening right now, and it also affects NVIDIA and Cell. I'll link the post before, please support the post and join the discussion if you can in a civil manner. Thank you very much, and now let's begin with the tutorial. So first, you're going to want to go over to this link in the description, and you're going to want to click on the latest release, it will be at the top of the page. And once you do that, you're going to want to click on the executable that you're going to download, and wait for it to complete. Once you've done that, open up the file location, and run the installer. Click OK. Minimize, I guess, the other windows, and click Next and install and you can configure it before your installation but if you already have blockstrap installed it should allow you to import your settings so here if you want activity tracking for like discord rich presence and stuff like that you're going to want to leave this on um, you can create player and message logs and query the server location when you join so let's say the servers in chicago or new york or toronto um, or so hold on right like you back or whatever um, it's going to display that um, here you can prompt when launching another instance this is a feature that blockstrap doesn't have but fishstrap has so you can have multiple instances so multi-instance launching I usually toggle this off because um, personally I don't use that here you can change things regarding deployment so let's say roblox had a beta channel if you were to type in this and if the channel was public you'd be able to enroll into it and you could see features before they're released um, by roblox so i'm just going to not do that and here's just the standard version here you can bring back the old death sound you can use the old avatar editor uh, you can have old character sounds and you can have a custom cursor so for example, I'll just set it to this. Um, I prefer default, I wouldn't use this, but you can use this. Actually, I'll set it to default, I don't really want that. And here you can disable Roblox's telemetry. Um, it's like basically where it phones back to Roblox. And you can change the uh, preferred lighting technology to feature. But the issue with that is not every game is designed for that, so it may cause issues. Um, but it will force it in all games. It even mentions here that it may cause lighting issues because some games aren't designed for that. Here you can change the rendering mode. So let's say you wanted to use Vulkan or DirectX 11, you can set that. By default, in most cases, Roblox is going to use DirectX 11 on a modern system. However, Vulkan is a very good option. It's not perfect on Roblox, but their support is improving. So I'm going to set it to that. Um, here you can change the overall appearance of Fishtrap, like what do you want when launching, and what logo do you want. So I'm going to set it to this. And here's just shortcut related settings. So with all that said, um, when you're ready to install, just click save and launch. I'm going to do that, and once it's installed, I'll be back. Alright, now that I've installed Fishtrap, I'm going to launch a game from the website to show you the launcher in action. So I'm going to just use this game as an example. And here is the custom bootstrapper. You can see the custom logo and like the glass UI. And now I'm in a game. And you can see that my, I have the normal Roblox cursor because I set it back to default, but I would have things like the old depth sound and stuff like that. And I have the custom launcher. And if we check what's being used to render, you can see that it's using Vulkan 1.4 for the rendering API. 
and it is also using future lighting for the overall games, like lighting. Um, that's all. I'm Xtravi. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.